Y'all got me riled up now, man. Y'all got me riled the fuck up. The same rappers who done sucked off Joe Biden for four years, they think they doing something by saying, oh, no, let's look at the other side finally. What? Okay, anyway, let me see what they got going on here. Zeus. All right, fuck all this bullshit. Glorilla linked up with Shaq. Oh, I don't give a fuck about that. Oh, hey. Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign Vultures actually debuted at number one on the Billboard charts. If you guys didn't know, um, without, you know, by the way, they had problems with their distributor, Fuga. They, there were certain songs that allegedly Spotify did not want on their platform that was actually removed. They went through a lot of other sagas in terms of even the rollouts. Some stadiums didn't want to host them. And a lot of people who didn't want to be next to their message, including even a bunch of musicians who said that their songs were sampled, but they were really at the, it was pretty much copywritten because they're saying, yo, this shit should have never came out because we didn't clear these motherfuckers to use our music. OK, despite all that, we get uh, Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign having a number one with Vultures one. OK, 148,000 sold, which was a hundred sixty seven million on-demand streams and 18,000 pure sales okay it's his um 11th consecutive wow that's crazy 11th consecutive number one album wow that's crazy now i'm gonna be honest with you man music just comes a little bit too easy to kanye west by the way i've listened to the album uh i do believe that this album is good i believe that you know if you take out all the drama and you only listen to the music there is some good music on here okay now i do have my critique i do think kanye could up a, up his rapping a little bit bit because i've been used to a little bit higher level of rapping from him but i think the production value is amazing on here and i, and I think if you're used to you know kanye west really innovative um groundbreaking type of production uh, um approach i think you will be satisfied here. Uh, I think Ty Dolla Sign is an amazing person to have as a, you know, um, a co-album lead. And I think the features, for the most part, I think they all did their thing. So I actually think it's a good album. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, um, if we're talking about albums that's completely, fully, 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 fully mainstream, did Nicki's album come out this year or am I tripping? I think maybe it was December. You know, obviously we have uh, 21 Savage's album. That, that came out this year and I think this album as well they're going to be in that conversation if we're talking about fully mainstream albums on what will, will what will be good um somebody says act didn't listen no I did listen I did listen you know I ain't gonna lie to you even the song that most people like Carnival I didn't like it at first because I didn't like I didn't like the choir like oh, well, Carnival like I didn't really like it at first but then I kind of caught on to it I caught the vibe it's all good now Ty Dolla Sign Ty Dolla Sign is fucking amazing right um. Yeah. So again, I'm actually excited, and I know some people they will compare this to like Drake. Hey, we have to be very honest. Like Kanye is in a very interesting place of his career. Kanye West even selling this amount is like humongous. You know, he has everybody working against him. I really just don't know what he could possibly do that people could give him another chance, other than he completely. Number one, lose all that bad shit, crazy shit, and gets like, you know, completely does a rebrand. Because most of these places and people, all they keep hearing, despite even his attempts to try to apologize, they're like, he's an anti Semite. He's an anti Semite. We can't really, like, they're, they're hammering him. So, you know, again, if we're only going to talk about the music, let's not talk about the other bullshit. I think this is good for him. And I, I, th I think this is probably another reminder to Kanye that the source of his power and influence is always going to be music. I heard him speak about it when he was in the airport. The source of everything that he has going on is the fact that God has given him a gift to be very talented at making music. And he needs to continue to do that. And he needs to continue um, to keep putting that into the world for all these other things that he has in, you know, he wants to do 
to flourish. So, you know, congrats to Kanye. Congrats to um, Ty Dawson. We'll see how the stadiums, if they receive him. We'll see if a tour is coming. Currently, a lot of businesses are trying to get out of business with them, even if they're going to make a lot of money. And they're all just sending that smoke signal to, to people who they feel are offended, which they believe the Jewish people are offended. So, you know, they want to they want to show a, a stand of solidarity with them by saying, fuck Kanye. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think this will stop anytime soon. OK, again, I think the only thing that will make it stop is a rebrand. Or else, not saying he won't be successful, but he's going to have this battle every single time. By the way, he also showed that Adidas thing where he said he met with the CEO and, you know, he's talking about giving them like a percentage for distribution. I, I, I still think that's a long shot until we see it actually come to fruition, if you get what I mean. All right. Somebody said Drake hating in the comments. Ooh, Drake wasn't in the comments, was he? Yeah, nah, it's going to get platinum eventually. You know, again, Kanye West is just, you know, by the way, also, this album, it was a completely independent album. I'm going to try to find out the stats on it and the facts on it. But as a independent release that's not released through either, you know, any or released or distributed through any of the top three conglomerates, 148 first week is huge. You get what I mean? It's not even like he dropped it through a distribution hub in, through, through one of the major labels. He dropped it first with Fuga, then he did it through, like, Create or something like that. So, you know, we got to give Kanye his credit. He's doing a shit ton, you know, to try to make his agenda work, right? Okay, what else? What did we 